How's it going to all you urban explorers out there? Well, it's been six years since my last Hidden Parts of Cincinnati video. But here we are out in Crestview Hills by this Columbia Sussex building off Thomas Moore Parkway. Over here on the Kentucky side of the river. And I saw this, I guess, abandoned train ride. Just driving around exploring. And from the road I could see a couple little buildings and maybe a train depot of some sort or a little town. So we're going to walk these tracks and see what we come across. I think I saw the remnants of a little town. Over by the building there's a train station. It says Richwood on it. And we'll go see that at the end, I suppose. Caution, tunnel, keep hands and feet inside the train. So, definitely was a ride. They wouldn't put that sign there if it wasn't a ride at some point. I just couldn't really find any information on a abandoned ride or an old ride out here in Crestview Hills. Actually, I'm not going to go in here, but maybe we can see under it. Alright, well I wasn't really expecting to find anything in there, but there's the train, as you can see in the photo. Coming through here, it says the work yard. Oh wow, it actually goes down into there. You can see down there, this thing wraps around. Let's keep going. Oh, right, here's that little town. Fire hall. Dr. Jacobs. They've got Christmas lights around them. General store. Marty's Saloon. The U.S. Post Office. And the Richwood Hotel. Probably a fun little train ride back in the day. Alright, let's carry on. So long, old little town here. Some businesses. Well, this just wraps around to the other side of the tunnel. Alright, we're back at that little town. My curiosity is getting the best of me. I gotta see what's behind here. This is the back. I guess we'll have to follow the trail back and head the other way from the beginning to get to that lower portion. So we're going to start heading back. I'm going to hit the pause button until we wrap up around the bend back to that crosswalk with the road. Here we are back at the street junction here. And we're going to take this. It looks like it wraps around the building. And then I guess we'll just walk along the parking lot for a minute. Okay, we've got a station one mile marker here. Some activity down there. We made it past the building and bend here. I 
can hear the freeway. See it. 275. Here's a pretty cool back shot of this building though. And now we're at the station. Coming up on the back side. Everyone probably sees this from the other side. And here's a nice little place for the employees. Carry on a little bit further here. I think we might have found the way. Wraps back around the end of the parking lot here and cuts down. So here we go. Go a little crossing here. Let's see if I can get a decent picture of that. That's pretty cool. It's getting a little thick down here. Now we're down lower. Barely see the track through this part. Uh, looks like we got a, maybe another split here. We're going to take this path to the right for now. Goes a lot farther than I thought. I thought this was just some little ride. Maybe the whole thing's a mile? I don't know. That last sign we saw way back. Yeah, it's been a while since my last hidden part of Cincinnati update, I'll admit. I haven't been able to find anything hidden except for this. thinking this is going to wrap around and lead back out and that would have been the ride. Loop through the town, go through the tunnel, go around, make this loop, head back to the station. Something like that. Yep, it's going to loop us back to that junction. Just goes around this hill right here and back out. Seems like it would have been a nice little ride. Well, thanks to everyone for tuning in to another edition of Hidden Parts of Cincinnati. It was really fun exploring this abandoned train ride, which I'm sure would have been a lot of fun. Check out these end screens for more of my Hidden Parts of Cincinnati videos. Thanks for watching.